Will it work? Please? Work! Come on. Yes! I love that little script. That is awesome. Alright, so let's try this. This game is Patrician 4. I have not played this before. I have seen it a couple times. I have no clue how to play it, so I think the first thing I need to do is, uh, well, let's hope the campaign starts us off easy, huh? Name, Max. And we're going to call ourselves, uh, uh, wow. Um, let's call ourselves Dick. Family name, um, Longwood. Gender, male, hometown, Lubeck. Um, can we change that? Yeah, we can. No, we can't. Our hometown is Lubeck no matter where we go. Okay. Well, coat of arms. Oh, we have to go with the frickin' clover, of course. Number of cities, 20. Level difficulty, normal. We can't really change that higher difficulty. Oh, shoot. Ah, shoot, we lost our... Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright. Where's the, the... There it is. Okay, 20, normal. Okay, everything's fine. Start the game. This is my uncle Jacob Stromberg's diary. When I was a young boy, he used to show me the sketches and drawings it held. They were there to remind him of the exciting times he had had in his life as an aspiring trader in the Hanseatic League. It all began in the year 1361 in Lübeck. As a simple trader, he began to learn the basics of trading, such as how the price of a commodity is based upon market demand he soon began to buy his goods where they were most abundant and deliver to remote towns the goods they requested. Yet he also risked the dangers of long sea voyages to do so. And so, his trading fleet grew from month to month. It was not long until the demand for his products was greater than the quantity of goods he was able to buy. His ships had to travel further and further. And so he began to build his own production facilities in Lübeck and in other cities, which, thanks to the new jobs, the good product range and sufficient living space, soon became larger and larger. Now he has bequeathed me a part of his fortune. His experience will help me to one day be amongst not only the largest and most influential, but also the most popular merchants of the Hanseatic League, just like him. Welcome to Lübeck. I am certain you will quickly get settled down in your new town. As your uncle, I will take it upon myself to give you a few tips from time to time. For there is much an aspiring trader such as yourself has to learn in this day and age. The town's most important buildings can all be found near the marketplace. Click on them to perform different actions there. That is also where you will find your counting house. You will also find your convoy anchored in the port. I will contact you later, after you have sold your first goods in another city. Okie dokie, so the current situation. Your uncle's here to help and advise you. The most important buildings in are close to the marketplace. Click on them for different actions. This is also where you'll find your counting house. Your first ship is also anchored in harbor. I guess it's the one with the blue flag. Familiarize yourself with trading in goods. Buy goods from the market hall in Lubeck and sell them in other cities. And find this information on your logbook info. Nautical charts. Convoy at anchor. Yep. Convoy at sea. Okay. Convoy list. Seem woey. Lubeck. Uh, one ship in convoy. Has capacity of zero. There's zero sailors and there's no arms. You haven't created any trade routes yet. All right, well. Well, this apparently is Lubeck. It doesn't really look like Lubeck. But, well, it's sort of oriented in the right direction. 
if that helps. Architect, I assume you build things, right? A house. Serves the residents for burgers of the city. Closer is built to the center, more likely influences will move in. Takes wood and brick. Costs 21,600. We have 30,000. So we could buy a house. Warehouse increases your counting house's storage space. Wow, it's actually cheaper than uh, a house. About half the cost. Hmm. A small well reduces danger from disease and fire. Also supplies three houses. Okay. Large well supplies nine houses. A square increases prosperity of burgers. Okay. The mayor. Cathedral. Large shipyard. All right. Market hall. All right. So here's where we have to buy some goods. Apparently we can store a thousand goods in our storage shipyard. I don't know. Is there no tutorial for this shit? There really should be a tutorial, like walk you through what you need to do. Assignments. Current campaign goal. Welcome to the back. Familiarize yourself with trading in goods. Buy goods from hints. You can find this information and your next goal in the logbook under info. Yeah, that's that's where I am, isn't it? The important buildings in which you can perform actions can be found at the marketplace in the center of the city. At the start of play, your convoy lies at anchor in the port of Lübeck. Click on it to select it. Alternatively, you can click the Convoy button. Your convoy's properties are now shown on the right. The convoy consists of a single ship and has no goods on board. Now that the convoy is selected, we will make our first trade. Click on the market hall or a port crane in order to open the trade window. Here you can trade between Lübeck and your convoy. Let us look at the commodity salt. The amount Lübeck currently has is shown in the third column. Next to it is the price. The stock okay. bar shows us how well the city's needs are met. At the beginning, the one thing you should remember is this. Buy only when the stock shows two bars. Inasmuch as salt is produced in Lübeck, which you can see from the tiny sprocket, both supply and price are good. To buy a particular commodity, click on the price. Okay. Then move the bar to the right to select the number of goods. The more goods you buy, the more expensive each commodity becomes, as the price depends on supply and demand. So when the supply drops, the price rises. In this example, I will buy 100 barrels of salt the goods are not purchased until I let go of the mouse button. Now I would like to sell the salt in a city where it is not produced. I close the trade window and click on the button that lets me leave the city. The chart is displayed and the convoy is still selected. I now send it off to Arborg, as meat is produced there and preserved with salt. Of course, there are no refrigerators. Use okay. the space bar to speed up the flow of time. As soon as my convoy has arrived, I can enter the city. To do so, I just click on the city. Now I open the trade window again. Okay, I, I get it. This is Luckily, this is sort of like um, Sid Meier's pirates. And haul shit back and forth in the Caribbean, except this time we're hauling shit back and forth in the Baltic. Okay, so... Uh, I need to click on our convoy, and then click on the, har the, the crane. Oh, in the example video it showed only 200 space, but here it shows 500 space. What is this? Why does mousing over the goods not tell you what it is? That Okay, hemp, grain, salt, metal goods, uh-huh. Darn it, I right clicked by accident and just disappeared. Oh, and it, it deselects the convoy too, great. 
What else we got? Uh, meat. Uh huh. Beer. Yep, beer. Metal goods. Okay. And the number available. All right. Well, why don't we do like he did in the video? Let's buy some. Whoa. Why can't I? Oh, you have to click and drag. That's awkward. So there's only 40 available. You can't really buy very much and get away with it. We'll buy, um... I don't know. There's not much available. Fuck it. Uh, there's a ton of uh, raw metal available. There's a ton of grain available. Let's buy some grain. Fuck. I don't know where grain is useful, but we'll buy it cheap. A hundred, maybe? Ninety-seven grain? Done. Next? God, that was five grand, wasn't it? Ooh, beer. Buy some beer. Buy, uh, twenty beer? Anything else that has a ton of, uh, stockpile? There's stockfish. Stockfish, go... The metal things, I mean, I just could sell it, buy some of them. Yeah, just ten. We'll go find some place to sell them. Alright, so where can we go? Short on cloth. Ah, short on cloth. Spices in demand. Short on wood. Short on wood. Short on wood. So whatever we... We should bring wood back to the city, that's for sure. Short on cloth. Oh, let's just go next to the next port and see what's up. No counting house or convoy in the city. Oh, well, how do we... Don't you have shit on board? Yeah. Oh, we right-click. Okay, that's fine. Hurry the hell up. Let's see what, was, what we can sell here for. What prices. All right, what's our price on grain? 55, okay. And the metal's the same cost. And the beer's the same cost. It's all the same fucking cost. So they're not short on any of it, they don't want it. We might be able to buy something else cheap here, like, uh, what is this, honey, but nobody wants honey. People want cloth, people want cloth, yeah. People also want wine and people want spices, but there's no spices down here. Yeah. And people also want wood, but there's no real wood here. All right, we'll just move on. Screw it. Uh, yeah, let's go over to Stetten. Boom, 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 boom. So they produce metal goods and grain here, so it's not going to be a good place to sell those, but it might be a good place to sell the um, beer, assuming they don't have beer. Uh, beer, 140. Yeah, we'll sell that. How do we sell beer? There you go. And our reputation in this town has well increased. Well done. You have sold your first goods. Earn enough money through trade to attain the rank of trader. You can see your current rank, grocer, at top right. If you listen to my tips on which goods are currently the best to trade, you will quickly rise in rank. Okay. You produce pitch, metal, okay, list of goods. What does red mean? Red means that 10 day demand, 10 day production. I guess it means they don't have enough of what they need. That's why I also need wine, yeah, okay. They produce 200 metal thingamabobbers. Wow, that's quick. That's a lot. Uh,
Okay, they produce wood over here, so if we can buy some wood, we can bring that home to Lubeck. Uh, Lubeck really wants wood, yeah. And they might be interested in buying some of the tools or grain as well. Let's see. Oh, we can't. Oh, we don't have a, we don't have a counting house, so we can't see the list of goods. Huh. All right. Well, hurry the hell up. He said space bar would hurry up. Oh, holding down space bar is like rapid speed. Okay. Good. Uh, what do we have? Metal goods. Oh yeah, because it cost me two hundred each. Oh, I guess that's my cost or my price, huh? Yeah. Okay. So this is what we paid, and this is what we can sell it for. All right. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Uh, and then we should also buy the wood that they have here. We buy your wood. I would like your wood. Wood. 120 wood. I'm not sure if I need the bricks, but uh, the wood, definitely. Let's buy the wood. And bricks. I'm not sure if I should buy the bricks. Nah, let's not bother. Alright. What else we got? Uh, let's go back home and sell this wood. Speed go. Wow, we only made like 500 bucks. <laughs> oh, that's that's just not the best, is it? Salt. Let's buy some salt. What else can we buy? I can buy some more tools, in case anyone wants them. And some beer. Alright, who wants the salt? Alberg wants the salt? They want spices, don't they? Well, we'll go sell them whatever. They might even want. They might even want the tools. Okay. Oh, they want bricks over. Oh, they produce bricks over here. I'm an idiot. Salt, 105. Oh, wow. We paid 69, and they'll buy it for 105. Yeah. All right. Whatever. Alright, so we made 3k off that. So yeah, they produce meat, wool, grain, and hemp here. Does anyone in the world want meat, wool, hemp, or grain? Meat, wool, hemp, and Stockholm. Pitch. Pitch was produced in Donzig. So we can buy pitch in Donzig and bring it to Edinburgh, I guess. It's a long way to go, though. Novgrad wants hemp. Novgrad wants to get high. Good for you, Novgrad. Good for you. So let's buy some hemp. Stockholm and Novgrad both want hemp. How much you got? Bro. Come on, trade. Pick my fucking convoy, damn it. Trade. Why can't I freaking trade? Here? There we go. Uh, hemp. Alright. Let's go sell that shit. Actually, what else was it? Meat, wool, and grain. Anyone else want meat, wool, or grain? Meat. Meat, wool, or grain. What is that? Meat, wool, or grain? No? You produce wood. Oh, so we can just take that back and forth, huh? Lots of people want wood. Meat, wool, or grain? No? No, no meat, wool, or grain. Hmm. But you produce bricks. And you guys wanted bricks, right? You guys are, like, desperately short on bricks. No. 
you don't want bricks. You have a lot of bricks on hand. Well, nobody else wants the other stuff, the meat, the wool, or the, or the grain. So, let's just go sell this shit. It's pretty much worthless, though. Space bar goo. Oh, he changed his mind. Ah, he'll probably still want it, though. 97 out of 100 per poor burgers live here. It was erected on blah, 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 all houses. Huh? You want me to buy a house? I don't understand. What the hell? I don't want to buy a house. Out your goddamn mind. Nice. That was good profit on just a little bit of hemp. Okay, so he produces raw metal. 60 gold. Or whatever. Wow, meat? Oh my god, look at the cost of spices. Look at the cost of meat. 533? Wow. Hold on, what do you guys produce here? Mead. Raw metal. Oh wait, you produce hemp? That's weird. Uh, can we buy your wood? Just a little bit. If you produce hemp, how, how come you were willing to pay so much for it? I don't know. Oh well, who wants wood? Wood! You do. Yeah, now he wants hemp again. Dude, you produce hemp. Look at that. And yet he wants hemp. Short on hemp. You produce hemp, you idiot. What is wrong with Stockholm? Hmm. Oh, speed up time. Gotcha. We don't have enough money yet. Darn it. Okay, what do you produce here? You produce hemp, grain, beer, and honey. Hemp, grain, beer. What does anyone need? Pelts, cloth, spice. Everyone wants spices. No one has spices, though. Nobody has spices. Oh, you need grain, do you? Alright, let's go buy some grain then. You have grain, right? Tell me you produce grain. You do! Alright, let's buy your grain. Oh, you, he's pr fucking almost out of grain. So I don't know how much... Yeah, we probably shouldn't buy it then. Darn it. Stockholm produces grain, right? Grain or grain? No. Bisbee? Grain or grain? Nope. Cheese, though. Donzig? Grain? Nope. Wow, really? No grain? There's some grain in Stetten. Alright, let's go to Stetten. We'll buy grain for Revol and Riga. Have to check the price, though. Like the price here. Uh, 61. Alright. Alright, have 41. Oh yeah, way better price. Buy it, uh, I think we'll buy it up to maybe, I don't know, 55? I don't want to go nuts. I'm not sure anyone ever wants honey. I know the tools sometimes we can find a good buyer for that. If we could keep them at a cheap price like that, I'll buy some. Anything that's cheap. And the pitch, I know they'll buy that in Edinburgh. Don't go nuts though. What else? The hemp. Hemp is pretty cheap. Alright, let's go sell the grain. Sell the grain! We have grain, hemp, metal, and pitch. Alright. Buy my grain. 
Okay, he will. Hemp. Metal. Ah, metal's a good price. Nice. And pitch. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Everything is uh, more expensive over here. Nice. Now, what do you produce here in Riga? You produce wood, hemp. Well, then why did you pay hemp? I don't know. You produce wood. 39 for wood. I'm not even sure if that's a good price. He has, like, no excess of anything. You're a useless town, Riga. Here, let me check out Rival while I'm here. Hell, maybe you want to buy wood. Probably not. No, he doesn't. He does have extra raw metal. Is that raw metal? Raw metal. Yeah, he does have extra raw metal, but that's about it. Wow, 1,000 gold for spices. We'll buy it as long as it stays at 60. Anything above 60, like 62 I'll take. Done. All right, move on. Yeah, let's check out Novgorod. We've never been there before. It takes a long time to sail over there and back, but eh, we'll take a look. All right, Novgorod, what you got for me, bro? Yeah, you can buy my weed. Nice. You can buy my raw metal. Here, 82 per... Uh, 80 each. There you go. That's all I have is raw metal and weed. Or... Oh, I can buy some lumber. I can buy some bricks. Anyone want some bricks? What else you got? You got salt at 69. Decent price, I guess. And mead. Oops, I clicked the wrong frickin' mead. And that's all you really produce, huh? Alright. Next. Let's go back to Stockholm. We haven't been there in a while. We'll just kind of stop everywhere along the way. As long as it's more than we paid for it, I'll sell it. Still don't get why it says they produce hemp here, but the... Hemp is always in demand for some freaking reason. Who knows? Oh, they buy bricks. Nice. That was a good purchase. And they buy salt. Oh, that was a great purchase. Wow. Uh, and they'll buy the mead, but not, not, not enough for me to be willing to sell it. And they apparently make metal, so that doesn't really help. We could buy some more metal, but nah. Well, if it's the same price, there you go. Wow, that is cheap. Onward. Go to Visby. What do we got? Yeah, buy my wood. Nice. Buy my metal. Nice. Buy my mead. Well, he will. Sell it for 260 yeah. What else we got? Oh, man, buy my fish. Nice. Uh, what do you produce here, baby? Produce bricks, hemp, honey, and cheese. Let's check out your bricks. Bricks are pretty good cheap, yeah. Hemp. It's definitely a good price on hemp. Honey. Alright. And cheese. As long as it's cheap, I'll buy it. Next. Let's go to uh, Donjig. Go! All right, 41 to 64, sure. Well, there's a good price on the mead, wow. Good price on the fish. Good price on the cheese. Nice, all right, I think we're, we're making out pretty well here. Uh, you produce wood, bricks, honey, what is that? Clothes and pitch. Let's take a look here, clothes. I haven't seen anyone demand clothes, but I assume the demand is out there. We just need to find it, right? That's what she said. 
bricks. Okay, onward. Next. To Torun we go. Or Thorn, or whatever you want to call it. Go! Ah, the bricks. They want bricks. You got it. Honey, they already have. Uh, the fish. Oh, that's a nice seller. The clothes are a pretty good price. Cheese is a pretty good sell. Uh, the pitch, not so much. So what do you produce here? We got the pitch, clothes, e so wow. So even though they produce clothes here, they don't produce enough for everyone. So they have to buy and they have to import clothes. All right. Fair enough. Buy some logs. Anything else? The pitch. We can buy some more pitch. Sure. All right. Onward, Stetten. We're just hopping from one town to the next. That works, I guess. Oh yeah, look at them buying my wood. You like my wood, don't you, boy? Ooh, wow, look at those tools. Let's buy some tools. Nice. Oh man, look at the price they pay for clothes. Wow. Six thirty. Pay uh, five ninety. That works. God, that's good. I'm gonna buy my cheese. Here, buy my damn cheese. Uh, let me buy some pitch off you, bro. Take all this pitch to Scotland, where they love it. Oh, we can buy spices here. Oh my God, we can buy spices here. Really? Wow, that's expensive, isn't it? Wow. Let's buy two. Wow, it's very expensive to buy spices, but everyone demands it, so yeah, it's okay. Onward. Right, go to the capital, actually, because they want spices right now. Make a couple grand on that easy. Look at that. Nice. Pitch. Do you actually want my pitch or what? Man, those clothes sell for so much here in our capital. Uh, the honey sells pretty well here as as well. The hemp, we can just buy more of that here. Grain we can buy here, it's pretty cheap. Tools we can buy here. Salt. Yeah, there you go. 75 salt. You have bought salt. And pitch, they'll buy pitch here, just not much. Alright, well. Oh! That was our mission, apparently. New rank, trader. Alright. Good for us. We have ranked up. You are no longer a Excellent. Moron. You are now considered a trader in many cities. And the Lübeck Guild has also noticed you. Your social rank is opening doors to many new possibilities. Yet, there is another thing just as important to your career. Your reputation in a city. You will need an excellent reputation to acquire privilege. Your reputation is displayed in a central position in each city. While your rank is of general importance for your options as a trader, your reputation in the various cities also plays a large role. You need a certain reputation in a city before you are allowed to establish businesses, for example. The Lübeck Guild requires a reputation of at least 40% in Lübeck before you may acquire the privilege of producing goods. Fortunately, Lübeck is your hometown, so here you have a little reputation bonus. To increase your reputation in a city, you need to sell the city goods whose stocks show no bars. On the other hand, if you buy goods whose stocks stand at zero, your reputation will fall accordingly. The goods traded also play a role. Mass products bring less reputation per item than more exclusive goods do. Okay. Uh, so our goal is to increase reputation in Lubeck to 35%. What's our reputation right now? I bid you a most hearty welcome to my beautiful city. 
As long as you behave and keep your nose out of my business, I'm sure we will get along splendidly. Oh, I thought this was the tab to show me the... Oh, it's right there. 28%. Alright, so we're almost there, actually. Just need to sell some crap. Sell some crap. Sell some crap. Uh, but for now, why don't we just keep buying whatever he's got. Sell him honey. He likes honey. Uh, buy some more metal. Nah, it's already... Ah, we can sell him some pitch. I will pitch him some pitch. Did you pitch him our pitch? Oh, I pitched him our pitch. Alright, 28%. We'll work on it. Next. Uh, next town. Yeah, I just head to Rustock. Went from there up to Malmo, then up to Alberg, and over away. Over away. Oh, yeah, look how much they're buying, or they're selling the hemp for. Wow. Nice and cheap hemp. And they're buying grain, apparently. Buy some honey. Sell the salt. Ooh, not that far. Uh, buy some more metal. As long as it's cheap. Buy some beer. Nice, cheap beer. Oh, man, look at all that beer they'll let me buy at the base cost. Wow. Buying at the cost. All right, good. All right, take that to Malmo. Go, my pretty. Ding, da, da, ding. Oh, they need weed. Look at that. Malmo needs weed. All right, here you go, Malmo. I have come on a mission of aid to the city of Malmo because they asked me if I could bring them some weed. Of course, I told them that weed is illegal in most states. So they suggested that we move our conversation to Colorado. Ooh, cheese. Cheese. Beautiful. Wow. 120, please. I don't want to pay more than necessary, if you know what I mean. Wow, look at the price. No matter how much we buy, this only costs 60. Wow. Okay. Buy some bricks. Are we full? Oh, we might be full, huh? Oh. Yeah, we are full of goods. All right, let's go sell some goods. <laughs> We're at 500 out of 500. Wow. We have a ton of wool. Is that wool? No, yeah, wool and beer. Oh, we're just we're just full. All right, can we sell some more salt and shit? <sighs> yeah, sell the salt. Good price on the salt. Sell the metal tools. Nice. Good price. Good price. What else can we sell? Sell the cheese. Sell it for 180. There you go. Sell the beer. Wow, making good good money on this stuff. All right, what can we buy here, if anything? Uh, buy some more weed. Buy some grain. Not too much. Buy some more cloth. I don't need it. And that's about it. There's not a whole lot that they have here that we're interested in. Alright, next. Actually, go to um, Edinburgh first. We don't have any wine. That's what they want. But I haven't found a place that produces wine yet, so... Eh. Hello, Scotland! Oh, wow, look at them just buying all my grain. They're like, we don't have any food. And they buy all my cloth. Oh, my God. Uh, I'll sell the tools there. Sell them some beer. Because, you know, Scots need to drink, too. They got tired of all that whiskey. Next up. Oh, oh, look at this. They have cloth. Everyone wants cloth, and nobody produces it. So this is awesome. I'll have to come back and forth to Edinburgh for that cloth. And, of course, Scotland is full of weed already. But I'm like, I brought weed! They're like, what? Exactly. Why is that guy with three heads talking to me again? I told him I don't want any. Alright, next. Uh, London, sure. Why not? Ooh, they need salt down here in Bruges. Mr. Derp. Oh, there. They don't have any wood in London. Oh, wow. And then they need weed, too. So look at this. It's like a match made in heaven. Scotland and England need each other in this game. Ha. Ah. 
Oh man, the prices we get when we sell stuff and lend... Look at that, they're gonna buy all of our shit except cloth. In fact, they're gonna sell us more cloth? Oh yeah. Good guy. Good guy London and Scotland selling us all of their cloth. Holy crap. I cannot believe how much cloth we have on board right now. We are just fucking full of cloth. That is amazing. What else do you guys sell? Grain. Alright, well, grain's better than nothing. And bricks. Alright. Onward to Bruges. Uh, oh, we can go to the rest of Europe. No, no, just stick around the north up here. My goodness. We'll bring that cloth home for sure. Uh, there's the rest of the tools gone. Uh, the weed is... Oh, yeah. The weed in, in Brussels is very cheap. Big surprise. Big surprise. I didn't say nothing. I know what you're talking about. Oh, look. They want cloth here. But they'll probably pay more for it in the Baltic. Oh, they have wine! Brussels has wine! Buy as much as you can at 480. Brussels has wine. Yes. And cheap wool. Wow. Here, let me hop back over here real quick and sell them that wool. <laughs> Brussels has wine. Buy my wool. God, what a good price. Buy my weed. Nah, it's not a good enough price. Oh, yeah, look at that. They'll buy the wine right here. We don't even have to go anywhere. Uh, yeah, head on over to Cologne. Cologne? I bet they have more wine here, huh? Probably. Yeah, they do. Okay, buy more wine. Just buy all the fucking wine. Wow. There goes all of our money, but come on, look at that. We have 100 wine on board now. Awesome, and they'll, they'll, sell, they'll buy some cloth from me. Good. Uh, everything else. Oh, they'll buy bricks. Nice. Oh, man. Making bank on this shit. They have spices, but it's very expensive. 700. Uh, I don't know if I want to buy 700. Ooh, clothes. Cheap clothes. Cheap clothes. Wow. Uh, each clothes we buy is apparently very expensive. Then I won't buy very much. I bought three. <laughs> I bought three clothes. Wow. Oh, I can't believe they actually sell... They sell cloth in London and Scotland. Oh, that's so awesome. Because the rest of the world is like, Whoa, man, we don't have any cloth. They're like, I got you covered. Okay, what do we got? We got more hemp, more cloth. Yeah, more cloth. Uh, more metal. Oh, we're, we're full. Fuck, we're full. We need to sell this shit. Uh, why don't we head to... Oh, we can sell that. Sell the clothes. Yeah. Who wants cloth? Because I am full of cloth. There you go. They'll buy a lot of it, I'm sure. Oh, we have cloth as well. There you go. Oh, there's the cloth and cotton or whatever. Wool. I don't know. There you go. Okay. Buy my cloth. There you go. Still have 156. Uh, but we'll try to keep the price relatively high. 720, that'll work. Uh, yeah, sell the hemp. Good price, please. 60, there you go. As long as we're somewhat close to doubling our investment, I think it's great. You know? It's worth the time and effort. Please tell me you'll buy a lot. Yeah, I'll buy a lot. More weed. Uh, they're not really done producing it, I guess. I need some more time, man. It's fucking expensive, man. Could buy some pitch, but nah. Alright, onward. Who else wants cloth? Oh, you want... Oh, you do. Okay, that works. Oh, wine. Yes, you want wine. I've got wine for you, Stetton. Like, okay, give me the wine. Oh, yeah. When they want it, they pay more for it. Nice. What else you want, bro? Oh, you have tons of weed. Let me buy your weed off. You don't need the weed. I need the weed, man. It's my herb. Mm 
Mm, pitch. So it's pretty easy to make money. You just kind of sail back and forth and you buy low and sell high, right? I mean, shit. Well, with all this hemp on board, of course you're selling high. Hoo hoo! Shed made a funny, watch out! Not much else to do there. Uh, we could buy some bricks. I think that's the base price for bricks. Just a few, though. Onward! What else we got? So, yeah, they want to buy it. 720 is as low as I'll go. Buy some more pitch. Wow, that's a lot of pitch. Well, as long as someone wants it, then that's not good to get, I guess. Uh, next up, 280, that's fine. Uh, 300, that's fine. Buy some more honey at the base price. Sell the bricks. Nice. Oh, they pay premium for cloth and weed, but we don't have any. We're fucking out. Ah, whatever. Onward. And upward. Oh, they want cloth up here. Cloth, go. So does Stockholm. They both want cloth. Sell that claw. Oh, sell the wine as well. Look at that. They'll buy the wine. Uh, and the pitch. And a cloth. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Price on the cloth, baby. Nice. Could buy some cheese. Queso. Uno mas queso, por favor. Por favor. Oh, you want to buy my wood? There you go. Buy my wood. Buy me that worthless piece of plastic. That's about it. All right, next. Stockholm. Sell them more cloth. Ding, ding, ding. Da -da ding, ding. Da -da ding, ding. Oh, that's all I've got. Nice. Well, good thing you paid top dollar. Alright, good. Our reputation keeps going up because we're bringing them shit that they need. Desperately need, right? Go back to the capital. We need to improve our relation, our opinion here. So that just means trading a lot more. They need wood, so if we can sell them this wood, that'll improve our reputation a bit. Nice. And they paid full price for it, too. Love it. You'll love it. I love it. Nice. What the hell is our reputation in Lubeck now? It says it improved, but it improved to what? Oh, we don't hate you anymore. We no longer piss on your, I don't know, property. I have property? I'm a fucking merchant. I guess I do have property. Probably a few attack dogs. Something like that, you know. Badass property. Very good. Oh, there you we go. You have improved your reputation in Lubeck. And I'm willing to bet that you have reached the limit of your convoy's capacity a time or two as well. You should, therefore, add another ship to your convoy now. Buy a new ship in the shipyard, or have one built. Oh, holy crap, I didn't realize we had gone up to 133,000 gold. Wow, we've been doing some very good trades, that's for fucking sure. As you know... Every ship must be part of a convoy before it can be loaded and sent out. 
For example, if you have just bought a new ship from the shipyard, it will first be anchored in the harbour without a captain. You can convert a ship like this into a convoy by selecting it and then clicking the Create Convoy button. The ship will then automatically be assigned a captain. You don't need to worry about hiring a crew, the captain will do that for you. You can also add a free ship to an existing convoy. To do so, both the ship and the convoy must be anchored in the same port. Select the convoy and then click the Organize button in the convoy's ship list. In this dialog, you can now simply drag the ship into the convoy. You can also remove a ship from the convoy in exactly the same manner. Should you remove all the ships, the convoy will be dissolved. In that case, the captain will remain in the city for a few days. Should you create a new convoy in that time, he will come back on board. Not only can you have ships built in the shipyard, you can also buy ships already in stock, repair your ships, or arm them with cannons. By the way, you can also send an entire convoy in for repairs. You will even receive a small bonus on the repair costs and the time required. Okay. All right, so add a second ship. Now I have enough experience to add another ship to your convoy. Order a crayer from the shipyard. It is cheap and can also sail up rivers. Okay. Sometimes the shipyard has a ship in stock. While you save construction time, ships on hand are much more expensive. Okay, so it might be worth to order a ship and just pick it up later. Let's find out. Uh, where did the little thingies go? Oh, I guess the shipyard. There it is. Uh, we want a crayer. Crayer. There we go. Buy. They don't have anything available. All right, so let's order a crayer. Uh, we need 60 wood, 20 hemp, 20 metal tools, metal goods, 20 cloth, and 20 pitch. Total cost 34,000, and it takes what 30 days, or is that 30 months? I don't know. Go ahead. Mm, with the current work in progress, completion will be on August 1st, 1370. Yeah, June, July, August. Oh, that's only that's such little time. Wow. Okay. Oh, we can repair our ship while we're here. Yeah, go ahead, repair. 700 gold or whatever. Cheap. All right, so let's keep on sailing. We'll be back, I guess. Have we finished all of our trading here? I can sell some more honey here. There you go. Buy some more salt. Buy some more metal. A little bit, maybe? Nope. Not worth it. Uh, sell some more cloth, just a little bit. And uh, sell some more pitch. Just a little bit of everything. Mm. Ah, buy some beer. Beer! We need to bring the joy of beer to other towns, right? I mean, that, that has to be our goal. Everyone must understand that beer is freaking awesome when you're allowed to have it, which I'm not right now. <laughs> and some grain. Okay, let's head out again. We'll be back uh, in a couple months, I guess. And just... Oh! No. What do you mean abort repairing? Is it not done? I thought repairs would be instant. You don't have any ships or convoys in the harbor to repair. What? <laughs> you don't have any ships in the harbor. Interesting. Oh! 1.5? I guess that means how many days I have to wait for it to finish repairing. Okay, we'll just wait. No big deal. Okay, we almost done. Half a day, apparently. 0.5. Maybe that's how much damage it has. It says 99% health. Done. All right, let's roll, baby. Go. Okay, that was easy. 
Ah, he needs some grain. There you go. You pay full price for grain, boy. You want some salt as well. Well, as long as you pay 100 ducats for it, you got it. Uh, we can buy some more metal. Some tools or whatever they are. Sell some more cloth, yeah. As long as you pay 100 more than, we're, than we paid for it, that's fine. I like how it tells you what you paid for it, so you know whether or not you're overpaying. Wow, we bought a ton of beer. Uh, sell some pitch, down to 200. I see you are helping me develop my city. Keep up the good work. I am helping you develop your city? I didn't even know. Why didn't you tell me I was being a good boy? <clears throat> Next. Uh, where are we? Uh, yeah, Stetten. They need cloth. Well, let's bring them cloth, damn it. They want spices up here in Malmo. Do you have any spices? You don't. Darn it. It's sort of a temporary one time. Oh shit, we're full. Okay, let's sell some shit because we're full. Good enough. Good enough. Boom, boom. Oh shit, we're full again. Sell the salt. We are so full of crap. Well, we have beer. We should find places that want beer and salt. I think that's going to be priority. Find places that want beer and salt. Uh, salt will be up here, right? Anyone else want beer and salt? Cloth. Meat. Cloth. Well, we still have some cloth, so let's head up this way. Ding, ding, ding. Oh yeah, look at him buying my tools. Oh yeah. Beautiful. And you want to buy my salt too. Here, 90, 90, 90 gold? You got it. Buy my cloth, baby. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that cloth. Nice. And the beer, he wants beer. He's like, oh man, I've never had beer so I good see before. you are helping me develop my city. I Keep am. Up the good work. You crazy fucking maniac. I am helping you develop your whatever you call it. You call it a city or whatever it is. Oh, you want to buy my weed? Yeah, buy my weed. Pay me double what I paid for it. Ooh, let me buy your bricks. God, they're cheap. Buying all your bricks. Well, hopefully we'll have more room for more crap after this. Wow, we have so much shit. We definitely need more than one ship to haul all this junk around. Well, before you buy anything, let's sell some shit. There you go. Yeah, so the tools... Everyone in Poland needs to buy tools for some reason. It's like they, they forgot how to make their own or something. Uh, okay, we could buy a lot more pitch here, but... No, we don't have that much. Alright, we'll buy some. As long as it's cheap. Well, quote-unquote cheap. Oh man, look how cheap the spices are! Fuck yeah! Oh man, spices here are so cheap. There you go. Only 16 of them at 400, but uh, we'll buy it. Okay, 17 of them. That's fine. Now let's sell some cloth here since they want it so badly. Sell some salt here. They want it so badly. Uh, we could buy some more honey. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to need it, but whatever. Relatively cheap. And uh, da -da. selling that spice is going to be so easy. Everyone wants spices. we got to come back to... Uh, this this town. In fact, if this is where spices are going to be coming in from the Middle East or wherever the fuck they're coming from, we should probably set up something. We set up something here in town. Uh, they respect us a little bit. What's this? An assignment is being offered. Architect. Oh man. Required if you wish to maintain your own counting house and warehouse in the city. That's what I want. You must join the local guild before you're allowed to erect buildings. Okay. Well, Guild, guild, guild. You must join this guild before you're allowed to build a county house. Unfortunately, you may not join the guild this time. You must first attain the rank of wholesaler. Oh, we have to rank up first. Oh, shit. Uh, it doesn't tell us what the next rank will be, but let's cross our fingers and hope the next rank is wholesaler. Because I really want to set up... In the if this is where we get spices for 400 gold... Oh, my God. We need to just go nuts in this town. Chronicle entry. What's this? Uh, What? Stockholm's in the midst of a long missing drought. The production of animal based wool has fallen off. Okay, well, maybe we can sell them some stuff. They need 
cloth. Oh, we don't have any cloth. We ran out. Whatever. Faster, my little pretty. We could buy some more bricks here. Sure. Well, uh, if they're a decent price. And some more honey. Sure, if it's a decent price. There's the tools I want to see. Yeah. Uh, oh, ooh, ooh, look at look at the pitch up here. Oh yeah, we'll sell it for two hundred. Anyway. I see you are helping me develop my city. And he wants to buy spices. Keep I'll sell them at nine hundred. Oh yeah, we made five hundred profit on each of those spices. Wow, wow, five hundred profit on each spice. That's awesome. Sell the rest of the tools. Yeah, just sell them. Uh, sell the salt down to ninety, maybe. There you go. Uh, buy some more bricks. Just a couple. Buy some weed. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's full of weed, man. Buy all his weed. Uh, anything else you have that I want? Cheese. Oh, yeah. Cheese some, sometimes will sell. Oh, wow, I can buy 138 cheese. Wow. Okay. Uh, onward. Stockholm's freaking out. Maybe they want some cheese. Who knows? Want some cheese? Dog? He wants some salt. He'll buy all of my salt. Wow. And he'll buy my weed? Oh, man. And he'll buy my bricks. Stockholm wants everything. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Stockholm be buying everything. Buy my cheese for 180 Yeah, nice. Nice. Goddamn, Stockholm is really just buying everything. When they said drought, they meant, like, everything is just not there. Everything is missing. Uh, let's just move on. Stockholm is not producing anything right now. Okay, uh, buy some more honey. Sure. Sometimes people want honey. Uh, sell the wood. There you go. Buy the hemp. Okay. Next. Sell the cheese for 180. Yeah. Sell the pitch for 200. Uh, 210. Works for me. Okay, what do you have producing here? Like, nothing. There's almost nothing here. Wow. Furs! Oh, wow. I haven't traded furs before. We'll buy it at whatever the base price is. 360 Yeah. And move on. Yeah, I did see some towns wanting furs. Alright, sell the honey. They'll pay a good price for it. Sell the hemp. Sure. Buy the bricks. Bricks are awesome. Buy the wood. Wood is awesome. Awesome. Don't you guys like wood? I know you do. Buy the metal. This is raw metal. Nice and cheap. Uh, buy some clo clothes. Uh, wow, clothes are very expensive. But I mean, they're super profitable if you can sell this shit. Just don't want to overpay for them when you first buy them. Yeah, everybody pays like a thousand gold for spices. That's awesome. Anything else you produce here that I might want? No, not really. You don't buy anything that I have, so that's fine. Well, maybe a couple of these. There you go. Alright, move on. Novgorod. No, no, Novgorod. Go on. Game. Oh, Novorod is uh, a drought as well. They want some grain. We don't have any grain, do we? Nope. <laughs> didn't bring any grain. Sorry. I brought beer. Oh, I didn't bring beer. Oh, I'm out of beer. Normally, I would bring you beer, Novgorod. You know, I bring the beer. You bring the vodka. We enjoy a night together. Bow chicka wow wow. Something like that. Buy my honey. 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. Sell the clothes. There you go. Sell the cheese for 180. Sure. Sell the pitch. Buy more fur. Okay. Wow. We got lots of furs now. Anything else they produce here that's interesting? Salt. Salt at base price. Nice. And mead at base price. Very nice. Not many places want this shit, but uh, if we can find someone that does, there you go. Okay. Next. Next. Let's head back to, I don't know, maybe Stockholm.
Do, do, do. Oh, look at the little mini map. You can see the boat racing along. Cool. Our ship is not ready yet. It will be eventually, but not yet. Stockholm is out of weed. They produce weed, but they have forgotten how to produce it, therefore they are out. We can sell them all of our bricks. Buy some wood. Sell the honey. Nice. Sell the salt. Oh man, they're paying top dollar for all this crap. This is great. Uh, you produce meat, so I should probably sell meat somewhere else. Furs. Um, 500, I think, is going to be my, my lowest price for furs. I'm not going to go over or under 500. Sorry. There you go. Next. They want wood. I brought wood. Buy my wood, bitch. Nice. Uh, buy my metal. Oh my god, you're so metal. Mead. Sure, we'll sell it for, what, 250 Something like that? There you go. And fish. Oh yeah, they buy fish, don't they? They buy furs. We'll sell it for 500 or more. There you go. Nice. We're getting some decent value on this shit. And the cheese, yeah. So at some point, this just becomes tedium. Like, just going back and forth and doing this. I want to actually get to the other parts of the game where you can do buildings and, I don't know, kill people. Can we kill people? Oh, man. Uh, we need to come down here and see if we can get our reputation up in Torun, because this is where we had the spices coming in at 400. That's so cheap. Oh, do you have spices today? Oh, fuck yeah. He's like, I'm all full of spices, bitch. Oh, and you buy this at a good price, too. Nice. You buy my cheese, too. Very nice. Alright, see, we're gonna make nice friends down here. I see you are see? helping me develop my city. Wait, that's Dunzig. Keep up the good work. It's not Torun. I'm in Torun right now. Aren't I? Yeah, I'm in Torun. Not... Why did I get a pop-up saying the mayor of Danzig when I'm in Torun? I don't know. Fuck. The game might be a little bit confused about where we are. Buy the wood. Everyone needs wood. Grain is a little bit overpriced. I won't buy that. <sighs> Sell the cheese. Uh, buy the spices. That's no, too expensive. Buy the pitch. Alright, good. So we're at 29%. we got to keep working. Now, what's this assignment being offered? Most popular burgers, Martin Knacker, or is it the Honorable Mayor Thorne, the next mayor election? I don't understand. What is this? City Council. You need to have rank of merchant where you can access information on City Council, patrol, rank of wholesaler, Rats Keller, chopped egg. In the world? Notice. Ah, notice. Assignments accepted. Oh! Bring pitch to Malmo and 30 pelts. Yeah, bring pitch to Malmo. Yeah, 468 gold reward to bring some pitch to Malmo. Done. Let's go. I already got what I need here. Go to Malmo. Works for me. Okay, where's the pitch? Pitch, 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 pitch. There you go. Uh, what else? Cheese. We can buy some cheese here. Mmm, Malmo cheese. We can sell our wonderful spices here. Nice. Um, sell the honey here. Buy some wool. Buy some brick. Buy some wood. I think that's all we can do. Uh, did that complete the mission? Do we have a list of missions anywhere? Surely we do. In the mi Oslo in the midst of a drought. Um, whoa, that is... Something is just too bright there. I'm sorry about that. That's hurting my eyes. Uh, guild. Marker, whole tavern, architect, church. Notice. City Mamo has no assignments to award. Well, let's see, pay, play film, no, not the film, assignments, there we go, 
Purchase Pitch and Thorn and sell it in Mamo's Group. I did already. I already did that, bro. I totally purchased Pitch and Thorn and I sold it in Mamo. I already did that. Look. I'm in Mamo. I just did that. I am so confused. Why do I not... I, maybe I have to go back and do it again? Let's go back and try doing that again. I don't know. Maybe I have to buy more pitch. Okay, 40. There, I'm buying 40. There. Oh, okay. So, assignment completed. Does that mean the assignment's gone? I'm so confused. <gasps> it's like, I already bought the pitch. I don't, I don't know. And I sold it too, so I don't know. I'm gonna sell it again, I guess. I have no idea. Whatever. Buy some more cheese. <laughs> oh, it didn't make any sense. I'm not sure if I got paid for that or not. Anything to sell here? Mm, yeah. Sell some honey. That's about it. And then we can buy some more wood. Alright, so who needs wood? You do. Go to Lubeck. They need wood. Buy my wood, bitch. Yeah. Oh, man. Look at that price. That price is epic. All these prices are so good. Buy me the hemp. The, the best hemp you got, baby. And the grain. Ooh. And the beer. Oh, we gotta, we gotta bring the beer everywhere we go. And just have, like... Drunken bar brawls everywhere. We can introduce bar brawls to the bar balls, bar brawls to the rest of the world, because they need to know. Okay, you need cloth. We'll bring that to you. I'm not cloth. Cotton or whatever it is. Wool. I have brought you wool. Ah, you can give me some hemp, and you can buy my bricks. There you go. See, tit for tat. I'll buy your honey. Do you have anything interesting? You have some tools. I like tools. Oh, spices are so cheap here. Wait, where is this? We're in uh, Stetten, and we have good spice price. Hmm, we should work on Stetten as well. Spice is just occasionally coming in with a good price here. Okay. Sell the beer. Buy more tools? Nah. Buy more honey? Nah, we're good. Uh, nothing else to sell? No, everything looks fine. Alright, move on. Uh, do, do, do. You know, we haven't been to Oslo yet, or Bergen, so let's head to Oslo and Bergen. They want things that we have, so why not? Go, go, go! Alright, sell that shit. Sell that shit, too. Sell that shit. They, man, look at that. They have. They want everything we have. They're like, oh my god, you bring us so many good things. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, look at these prices. I love it. Oh yeah, buy my spices. 500 profit on each. <laughs> Anything I can buy here? Yes, buy some fish in Oslo. Oslo has all the cheap fish. And I don't mean women. There you go. All right, that's probably all I really want. Yeah. Onward to Bergen. The old capital of Norway. Oh, and I think our spare boat is, might be finished as well. 
Would not be surprised if our boat was done by now. Can I buy some more metal? Not really. I can buy some more brick and some wood. I can sell some pitch. Good price. Oh, it said he wanted cheese, and then by the time I got there, he doesn't want cheese anymore. Well, fuck you, dude. You little prick. Stupid man. You are a very stupid man. I want cheese. Now I get there with cheese. I don't want cheese anymore. You're a numpty. Damn it. Let's sell our wood here in Alborg. Alborg! Wow, how much money do we need for the next level? Jesus. Freaking crazy. Oh, wow, you really like fish, don't you? Denmark loves their fish, my goodness. They just bought all of Norway's fish. I want to say Norway made out like bandits, but they really didn't. We did. We're the ones who moved the goods, so we got all the profit. Norway didn't get a penny of profit off that crap. Oh, we can finally buy meat. Oh, yeah, look at this, meat. Let's go sell meat. Actually, I want to go back to Torun and Stetten. Uh, yeah, go ahead. That's a long way to go, isn't it? Oh, our second boat. You are ready, right? Where's my second ship? I'm pretty sure I already assigned a ship for construction, and it should be done. Oh, 14th of August. Oh, it's going to finish tomorrow. Sweet. For Dick Longwood. All right, we'll just wait for it to finish. Excellent. It finishes tomorrow. I thought it said it was going to finish on the 1st, but apparently it's going to finish on the 14th. That works as well. Come on. Finish. Where's my ship? There it is. New ship in Lubeck. Alright, so either we could build a convoy or we could just put it onto our current convoy as a second ship. Right? I think that's what we'll do. Um, um, oh, new rank. Wholesaler. A pirate has appeared. Cornbrook. A pirate? Ugh. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's sell our goodies. Oh, you like my hemp, don't you? You like my mead? Oh, yeah, he likes my mead. Oh, look at that. He wants to buy my meat. Uh, it's not a very good price. Though. We'll find somewhere else to buy the meat. Buy the pitch. Uh, cheese is decent. It's not the best. The fish is not a good price. The honey's a good price. And the wood is a great price. Alright, that's probably all I'm willing to buy or sell down here. Let's head back up. Simoe. Simoe. Here now now. Just sell it all. Yep. Buy some brick. Sounds good. Buy some more honey. That's a good price. Sell some mead. Fantastic. Mead is alcoholic drink made from honey. There you go. If we can get like like 200 bucks profit on each one, that's fine for me. Actually, just sell the rest. Yeah. Get rid of it already. Ah, we can buy some clothes. And the, cl the price of clothes here is actually decent. We got 14 of them for the, uh, the regular price. Good. Good, good, good. Excellent. Let's head back out. To uh, Let's just go home the, the short way. We'll stop at every port, and then we'll go pick up our second ship. Because just, just hauling 500 is just not enough. Sometimes you need to haul more than 500, right? Ding, da, da, ding. That and I do not have a good enough attention span to pay attention to two different convoys. It just doesn't work for me. Uh, 
Uh, anything interesting that they produce here? Oh, tools. Yeah, we'll take some tools. As long as it's the right price. The price is right. Onward. I wonder where that pirate was. I honestly don't know. You think I would pay attention? But I don't. Or if I do, I promptly forget about it. Forget about it. No, but my, my brain does not retain information for very long. Wow, you guys don't really have anything amazing here, do you? Beer! Beer! What am I? Oh, I spoke too soon. Obviously, he's got 30 beer for me to buy at wholesale price. Nice. Don't have a whole lot to, to sell me, do ya? Damn. Oh, we can sell the clothes here. Nice. Sell the pitch here. Okay, so we got something anyway, at least. Uh, the mead. Yeah, there you go. There's not a whole lot of stuff here. Oh, the salt. Oh, wow, he's got tons of salt for me. Nice. That's it, isn't it? Just the salt. Just the tip. Alright, let's see if we can merge our fleets. Alright, how do we do this? Shipyard. I'm going to call us the Starter Boat. Uh, ah, there we go. Yay! We now have a Crayer inside of our fleet along with a Cog. Your convoy now has a much greater cargo capacity. This is a good time to start producing goods yourself. To do so, you will have to acquire a privilege from the Lübeck Guild, which you can get once you have attained the rank of wholesaler. Okay, each city has its own guild. They are always located close to the market. Next goal, rise to the rank of wholesaler and acquire the right to produce goods in Lübeck from the Lübeck Guild. Okay, well we already have the wholesaler status. So let's head to the guild. There it is. And there we go. We need a reputation of 40. Uh, first acquire a privilege before you are allowed to produce goods. Yeah. Well, it's going to cost me 10,000, but I have 300k. So, done. You have the right to build production buildings in Lubeck. I'm not sure what we're going to do with that, but cool. Okay, regional goods. You must first acquire a privilege before you are allowed to produce beer in Lubeck. You require the rank of merchant. So, we need ranking before we can do beer. Whew, all right. What is this, our money? This must be our money. Oh, this is inhabitants. Hmm. So, now there is nothing to stop you from opening your first business. Build a now grain and farm the and a house. In the center of Lübeck and build a grain farm, a brewery, and a house in town. Well, the brewery, I have to be a different rank. I have to be a merchant instead of a wholesaler. Well, let's see the film. Before you can build a business in your hometown, you must first acquire the privilege from the guild. Then you can visit the architect. Click the business you would like to build to see the construction materials needed and the costs involved. Confirm construction in order to change to the construction mode. In construction mode, you can place the building itself. Growers must always be built outside the city walls, unless the wall is very big. Take care to waste as little space as possible in construction as the city might one day become very, very big indeed. In addition, every building requires road access. These, however, are built automatically. If you wish to build another farm of the same type, it is best to place it right next to the one before. You can combine up to four farms to form a farm cooperative. Since each worker requires accommodation for himself and his family, it makes sense to build a house for each business. Houses must always be located within the walls. If you do not build houses, your competitors will, and they will collect all the rent too. You can click finished buildings to display information pertaining to them. For example, what resources they need for production or how much building maintenance costs. The details always apply to all buildings of that type. 
For houses, the number of tenants and the rental income are shown. All right, I'm not sure I understood that, but whatever. <laughs> build a grain farm and a house. So outside the city, we build a farm, and then inside the city, we build some houses. Uh, architect, please. Architect, architect, architect. There you are, bro. Grain farm. Grain farm. Uh, produces grain. Grain can be used as a raw material or for beer. Okay, so we need wood and brick. Build. We'll do like they did in the video and make a little thingamabobber out here. A little quadrant. You no longer need to try to produce goods here. I have everything under control. There's our quadrant. Okay. Uh, houses. Is this a house? This is a house. Closer is built to the center, the more likely that affluent citizens will move in. Okay. Build. I'm not sure how many of these we should build, but whatever. I expect you to either tear this house down immediately or cut me in on the profits. Remember, I was here first. I have already told you a number of times that I do not appreciate your continuous expansion in my city. Warehouse? You are disturbing my business. Hemp farm. Salter produces salt, needs wood. Ooh, that might be good. So we can't do beer yet. You must first acquire permission. So we need, yeah, we need something else for beer. We have to up, up our rank to do beer. Gold for Lubeck. Increase production in Lubeck. I'm working on that, aren't I? Hemp is currently selling so well that Lubeck has decided to pay whoever builds two production plants a bonus. Nah. Six hundred and thirty wood before sixteen nine August September. So essentially three weeks to get six hundred and thirty wood. Hmm. What would be the reward? Just f just four K. What a waste. <laughs> Although I'm sure they'd be happy about it. Lending fifty thousand. That's a little expensive for me. I mean, that's a quarter of my entire funding. So you're building, you're waiting for materials. I wonder how that's all going to work out. I wonder why that guy was so pissed about me throwing some houses down. It's like, who cares? It's just a house. Uh, what was our assignment? Okay, we did that one. Okay. Current goal, build a grain farm and a house, hence building some built-out architecture. You find that workers need housing for themselves and for their families. Uh, I'm not sure if three houses is going to be enough, but I guess we'll frickin' find out. In the meantime, uh, let's check all of our trade just again, see if there's anything changed in the last few days. Yeah, we can buy some more of this. Nice and cheap. Lots more salt to buy. Oh, yeah. So just sitting around for a few days gave um, the production time to recuperate. So we bought everything they had last time and now they've they've produced some more just for us because they knew we'd be coming back. All right, let's head out. Let's go sail. I don't know. What do we got? We got grain, tools, salt. Oh, you need salt over here, do you, Danzig? Well, the goods produced in your new business will be delivered to your counting house daily. From there, you can do whatever you want with them. Okay, it's going to be sitting in our counting house. I'll have to remember that. I don't know how to access our counting house, but I guess we'll find out. Dun, dun, dun. Buy that pitch. Wait, where's the salt? Sell that salt. Nice. Good price on the salt. 100 bucks each. Oh, yeah. Sell the tools. Make a hundred bucks profit on all that crap. Nice. Sell the beer. Oh man, partying tonight. Beer and salt. Oh yeah. Uh oh, clothes. Yeah. Buy me all the fucking clothes. I'm assuming you you can't do spices production. I'm just guessing here. Okay. 
Uh, so what do we have? We got some bricks. Ah, oh, cotton salt. Anyone want some salt? Nobody wants some salt? You want some grain? No, we, let's go to Nobra. Let's see what the hell they have over here. Oh, there we go. New rank merchants. Now we're talking. So now we can do that beer thing. Beer production. A pirate has appeared. Holgerson. I don't even know what, what to do about pirates. Okay. Uh, buy some more bricks. Oh, they have lots of wood over here. Buy all their wood. Uh, sell some hemp. Nice. Good price on the hemp. Sell the grain. Sell the honey. Oh, yeah. Look at this. They're buying everything, man. Buy more salt. Mm. Just a little bit, I guess. Uh, sell the clothes. Oh, yeah. Nice price on the clothes. Damn. Sell the pitch. Not the best price, but whatever. Just get rid of it. Buy some fur. There you go. What else do you produce here? Oh, buy the mead. Uh, they don't really have much. Fuck it. Yeah, if they don't have a whole lot, we, can, we won't buy it. All right, let's get out of there. I haven't seen the pirates yet. I'm not sure what's going to happen with them. Sell that salt, baby. Sell that honey. Buy some more brick. Nice and cheap. Yeah, this is... I don't know. I mean, it's... It's not bad. It's just not, like, super entertaining, you know? Oh, well. Let's head to Lubeck for now. Actually, let's go sell the furs first. No one head to Lubeck. Because so I want to see uh, what's up with the buildings. I mean, I assume we can check in on it right now, but I want to personally head there. Oh, nice price on the salt. Damn. Love it. Buy some beer. Sell that fur. Nice. Sell those clothes. Nice prices. Damn. They pay out the ass for that stuff. And buy a whole lot of hemp. Okay. And head back home. Yay! Buy some more food, some more hemp. In the world. Ah, there we go. Buy some more tools. Buy a lot more salt. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, salt. Buy some more beer. Okay. So where is our our own little oh market hall? Is that it? Harbor Crank Market Hall. Not even sure. I'm not sure what all this means. Stocks of goods, ten day demand. I don't know what ten day demand and ten day production means. I have no idea. I'm sure someone knows, but not me. I'm an idiot. So much salt. Alright, so we're looking for... Let's see, Burger's House, Worker's House. And I'm not sure what I'm looking for. City Hall. Counting House, there we go. Okay, family, you are not married. Uh, home is Lubeck. Balance, what is this? 30 days. Oh. Oh! So the last month we paid 5,800 gold doing whatever. Interesting. What in the world? Storage space in Lubeck. Oh, we can store stuff here. Oh, we can have some guards. Oh, two guards. There you go. I don't know. I don't know what we need. 
Uh, we produce, oh, this is us. This is our production. We're producing 18 grain a day. Nice. Administrator. 50 gold per day for an administrator. No. Uh, what was our next mission? I must have missed it. Uh, assignments. Hmm. Build a grain farm and a house. Oh, I thought we did that. There's our farm. Oh, the house isn't done yet. All right, well. Oh, six more days. Remaining construction time. It doesn't say remaining construction days. It just says time, and then it shows an hourglass and then six. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, so let's head back out for a little bit. Uh, who wants some tools? I bet you want tools. Everything over here just seems like they can't produce tools. So we'll bring them their tools. Oh no, this guy produces tools. Alright, maybe over in uh, Danzig they don't produce tools. Yeah, spices at 720 is a little pricey. I mean, it's not bad. Considering we can sell it for like 900. But still. Oh yeah, buy my beer. Nice. Good price on that beer. Anything else I have that you want? Yeah, salt. Cool. Okay, next. Okay, sell some grain. Very good. Sell some hemp. Buy some honey. Sell all the salt. Well, not all of it. Sell it down to about, yeah, decent price. Sell the tools. There you go. Like, what's a tool? I don't understand, but I want to buy them. I don't know what it is or what you're explaining to me, but I know that I want you to take my money. Shut up and take my money. Next. Okay, more honey. Good, good. Ah, nice. Lots of wood here. You know me, I always get, get excited for wood. Next. There we go. Nah, I'm not going to change. Sell some more tools. There you go. Sell some more salt. And let's move on. Well done, your first business. It will attract employees on its own, provided there are enough beggars in town. Now, don't worry. As long as the town is doing well, there will be more beggars arriving in Lübeck every day. Now, seeing as how you will soon be an employer, you can now advance to the rank of merchant. Okay. Your competitors are therefore going to build houses as soon as the utilization of existing homes reaches around 80%. Grain is the main ingredient for beer, and beer sells well, sells well everywhere. You should think about building one or more breweries in Lübeck. Our next goal is to achieve the rank of merchant. I'm, I've already done that, so I assume... You did it. We're done. <laughs> now you that your it. company is growing, <laughs> you can no longer look after everything all on your own. You should now see about setting up trade routes and hiring an administrator for your counting house. These two simple acts will enable you to automatically trade. All right. Well, let's see how this works. Then I'm curious about this. At fixed prices. In order to establish a trade route, first select the convoy. Then click on Trade Route, and finally on the New Trade Route button. Now you must first roughly define the route on the marine charts. Simply click on the towns in the order in which the captain is to visit them. A simple route would be Lübeck, Malmö, and then Aalborg, as the cities all produce different goods. Then you click on Trade to set the details for each city. If you select a city, you can specify which goods are traded in the city. In this case, salt, cheese and meat will suffice for an easy first route. Just drag the goods into the automatic trading area. The same is done for the other cities. The captain buys these three products when they are cheap and then sells them when they are expensive. Once you've gained some experience with trade routes, you can, of course, add more cities and goods at any time. A short note. The trade according to specification area 
allows you to give the captain exact price and volume targets. Here you can also specify that the captain is to exchange goods with your counting house in the city as well. And now for the important bit. Do not forget to activate the trade route. Okay, well why don't we try that? Because that should free up some of our time really, so we don't have to, you know, manually run around with like chickens with our heads cut off. Uh I want to build a new Kayer actually. Well, hold on, hold on. What's our mission right now? Mission is set up a trade route and have your convoy complete a tour. Okay. Also hire an administrator. Well, I'll work on that. <laughs> So, let's go out. I want to do a little more trading on my own, and then we'll do that. So, wood. Who wants wood? You want wood. All right, fine. Oh, shoot. We just got there. Did we sell? No, we didn't. Next. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Wow. Lots of fish. Give me the fish. Lots of fish. Yeah, if we include Stockholm in any of our trade routes, we're going to have to make sure we don't forget fish. And Re Revol, Riga, and Visby all always need cloth. So we could do something all the way over to, like, um, Edinburgh for them. Because there's tons of cloth over there. So many sheep. I mean, not cloth. Wool. Because there's all this sheep, you know? It's a big sheep industry. It is. When you look in the dictionary for big sheep industry, you find Scotland. You just do. Right? Tell me I'm wrong. Alright, sell more crap. I don't want to load up too much on junk. That'll work. Yeah, we're selling things at a pretty decent price. And I'm getting rid of stuff. And to me, that's kind of important. Just get rid of all the stuff. Okay. Onward. Hamburg is under siege. What does that mean? The prince sieges the town. What happens there? Whoa. The prince sieges the town. I don't know what that means. Sounds bad, though. <laughs> Sounds real bad. Uh, sell it. Buy it. Sell it. Buy it. Let's go back. Let's go home. Okay, sell it, sell it, sell it, whatever. Okay, so we've emptied out most of that stuff. Can we change our trade fleets here? Convoys, I want to change my fleet, please. Captain, no. Ships, there we go, organize, yes. All right, get them out. You have a free ship in port, which is not part of a convoy. I noticed. To send this ship out, you must either add it to a convoy or use it to form a new convoy. Uh, and how is your new convoy to be named? We're going to call it the uh, Salt Triangle. Okay. So we're going to do that one that they exampled to us. Uh, where is it? There it is. Trade route. New trade route. Bingo. 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 Just do that. That's fine. Uh, trade. I did. Trade. Oh, get rid of that. Oh, shit. Edit route. Delete city. Bingo. Trade. Okay. Uh, salt. What else did he say? Cheese and meat. Okay. Malmo. 
you think you could just copy this shit, but you can't. Okay, so they all have salt, cheese, and meat. And you can see Lubeck produces salt. Malmo, Malmo produces cheese. Lubeck. You can't, you can't put Lubeck on top. Really? Hold on. Okay. There. God damn it. I don't know how it changed the order on me. Yeah, they each produce something different. Lubeck produces salt, you can see, because it has a gear. Malmo produces cheese. You can see because it has the gear. And Alborg produces meat. Like the guy in the video was explaining. Wait, I'm the guy in the video. Well, whatever. You know what I meant. What does this mean? Do not visit city. Copy settings from... Oh! Copy settings from previous town. Well, that would be nice, wouldn't it? What does that mean? Repair. Oh, yeah, repair, obviously. Oh, okay. So that just means repair. Uh, no. No, we'll just let all the repairs happen in Lubeck, that's all. Okay, and we'll do that. Activate. Enjoy. Alright, so he just bought a bunch of shit, and he's gonna go do the salt triangle. Very, very cool. So we still have our main ship, uh, starter boat. Now, we could set up another trade route, but I think what we'll do is we'll buy another crayer to do another... Uh, trade route on its own. So let's buy another crayer. Yep. Buy it. 12th November. You got it. Okay. And uh, we should set up a beer thingamabobber. Oh, I need to apply for the thing, don't I? City Council. Where do I apply for that shit? Tavern? No. Counting House? Guild. There we go. Okay, so 10,000 gold is going to give us the ability to uh, produce beer. Done. Let's produce beer. I don't know how big I should make it. Um... Make it a, a, a two size. <laughs> Don't go nuts. <laughs> and uh, we'll take our ship back out for enjoying the world. We'll do our normal thingamabobber. All we have is pitch right now. That's fine. Uh, we'll go pick up... Uh -oh. oh, you want pitch up in Oslo. Perfect. Yo. They need pitch in Oslo. Pitch in Oslo. Pitch in Oslo. There we go. Just, yeah, sell it all. Whatever. I'm not looking to make a whole lot of money on that. I just want to get rid of it. Oh, yeah. Fish. Needs to set up a trade route just for fish. Next. I can buy some more. More fish, maybe? Nah. Buy some clothes. Oh, wow. Bergen makes clothes? Nice. I like that. Not many places produce clothes. And wow, Bergen, you have like nothing interesting to sell. Edinburgh, here we come. Ah, you need some bricks. Good. We'll buy your metal. We'll buy your hemp. Buy my weed. Sell the clothes, sell the fish, uh, buy the cloth, oh not beer, cloth, 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 oh yeah, look at all that cloth, beautiful. Next, love me some cloth, we got tons of room, we got 400 units of space, nice. 
Sell the hemp. Sell the wood. Sell the metal. Sell the mead. Oh, beautiful day. Buy more cloth. Yeah. And some tools. Well, don't go nuts on the tools. We can buy that in our hometown. Not a problem. Ah, grain. Yes. And bricks. Yes. Next. I don't have any salt for you, Broobs. Sorry. But uh, I got some bricks. I know you like bricks. You'll be shitting them. You'll be eating bricks for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So many bricks, you'll be shitting. Ooh, $400 spices. Yeah, buy me some of that shit. And some wine. Oh, look at that cheap wine. Oh my goodness. Yes, all of the cheap wine. All of it. Wow. Such good price. Many good price. Such wow. Much wine. All right, let's go distribute that wine. Let's go to Cologne. Y'all want some wine? Nope. Oh, you gotta buy some more wine? Fuck yeah. Some more spices? Uh, nah. More clothes? That's nice. There you go. We'll definitely have to set up a convoy to come over here and do all the fucking wine, because everyone always wants wine, and we never have any. We just don't have it. It doesn't get produced over here. Cheap salt. Well, regular priced wholesale salt. Quote unquote cheap. And you don't want to buy anything I have? Really? Alright, fine, fair enough. What the hell does this mean? Prince sieges the town. I don't know. Ooh, sell all that salt, buy some more weed. Oh yeah, buying all the... Wow, they have a ton of weed here. Oh, we are full of crap now. We are completely full of crap. Uh, you can buy my clothes. You can buy my wine. Oh, not that cheap. Uh, I think I have 800 ducats. 800 gold. All right, now we can buy some beer. Oh yeah, all the beer. Oh man, there's never enough room. Oh, we can sell some clothes. Or cloth, sorry. We're fucking full again. Well, let's see if we can find some place to sell something. Oh, the prince is no longer sieging Humber. Let's see if that means they want some goods now. Probably do. Yeah, well, he wants some weed. We'll give him a little bit. Uh, he wants some wine. Sell you a little bit of that. Want some cloth? Okay. Eh. And the price just ain't good enough, bro. Eh, decent price on beer. Decent price on cloth. Good price on wine. Nice. But that's it, really. Wow. All right, let's move on and see if we can find some place that wants... What do we have the most of? We have the most weed. All right, Stockholm, you got it. We're bringing you the weed, baby. I'm bringing the weed. Oh, shit, is that a fucking tornado? Or a hurricane? A hurricane in the Baltic? No way. I don't buy that. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, look at all that weed he's buying. Oh my god, 14,000 of weed. Beautiful day, so much weed. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. We brought all the weed to the neighborhood. Da -da -da -da. My neighbor. Uh, more fish? Sure. Oh yeah, good price on the cloth. Nice. Buy it. And the beer? Oh, yeah. Buy my I see beer. you are helping me develop my city. Keep up the good work. What the hell? That, that, was the, that was the dude of Oslo. I'm in Stockholm. Why are you... What? Why is the dude of Oslo talking to me when I'm selling stuff from Stockholm? I don't know. Fucking crazy. Crazy sons of bitches. Alright, what do we still have? We have tons of wine. Who wants wine? Anyone want some wine? No? Nobody wants wine? Really? I went to the effort to buy as much wine as I could, and y'all don't want some fucking wine. 
Alright, whatever. Go to Visby. Ding, da da ding. Da da ding ding. Da da ding ding. Da da ding ding. Da da ding. Da da ding ding. Da da ding ding ding. Da da ding ding. Da da 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 ding ding. Da da ding. Da da ding ding. Da da ding ding ding. Da da ding ding. Da da ding. Da da ding. Da da ding. Da da ding. Holy shit! They produce a ton of cheese here in Visby. It's gotta be goat cheese, right? Y'all want some wine? Probably. Tell me you're paying top dollar for wine. Tell me you're not a liar. Oh yeah, he's paying top dollar for wine. Nice. Can I buy some pitch? That's what we should do. We should um, set up an automatic trade route to come from Torn up to Stockholm and down to... Was it Visby? Yeah, and we can do uh, pitch, and then fish, and then cheese. All right? Pitch, fish, and cheese. Something like that. You don't want to buy my crap. Damn it. Mooring fee in Alborg. Oh, he repaired his ship or something? No, what's that? City collects harbor dues. Really? City collects harbor dues. What in the fucking hell? I'll have to check that out in a second. Wow. So just docking up cost me 108 gold? Well, that's fucking new. And crap. That is bullcrap. Alright, let's check that out. Housing 6% full. Holds 50 people or 50 houses. 140 people. No. I don't know what this means. What does this mean? Well to do burgers. Ah, houses. People, poor. So out of 3,000, there's 2,700 poor, and there's only 140 well-to-do, and then 70 rich. Wow. But yeah, we can't check out the town. Why can't we check out the town? I want to see what this collects harbor dues means. Anywho, back to Lubeck. Lubeck. We're incurring storage costs. What does that mean? Wait, I have 1,400... You have now set up your first business that requires raw materials for the production of goods. Please remember that these raw materials must be available in your counting house every day, as each business draws its raw materials from the counting house. So we set up an administrator. Yeah, there's that mooring fee in Alborg again. We set up an administrator. That's part of our mission, right? Set up a trade route and have your convoy complete a tour. It's already done that. Hired administrator for your Lubeck counting house. I've done that. Very good. Oh, there we go. Trade routes and administrators are essential for the expansion of your company. Your next goal should be the establishment of a counting house in another city. I would suggest Alborg, the only city currently capable. Okay, so we have to produce meat in Alborg. So let's take our boat. Uh, let's head to Alborg. We're going to incur that uh, docking fee. I'm not sure what the hell that's about. It's the only town that has it. 
cost me 361 gold just to dock up here. Are you fucking shitting me? Wow. Alright, let's take a look in town. Need to talk to the guild. Market, architect, church, city hall, shipyard, guild. Okay. Reputation. You must join this guild before you are allowed to build a counting house and acquire further privileges. Oh. I need good reputation here. Well, what can I do? What can I do about the reputation? Wow. Huh. Well, there's not much I can do here, is there? Damn. City Hall. Notice, courtship. The good house of Strui seeks a wealthy husband for their daughter, Fronica. He must hold the rank of a lease merchant, and advanced age is of no concern. Following the acceptance of your courtship, you'll have until 8-12, so another one month, to collect goods required for the wedding in your hometown, Counting House. I have no idea how that works, so how about you do something else? Bring wood. So you have one month to bring wood. I assume this will help the town. If we look at what the town needs, we can bring whatever. The town needs wood, bricks. So let's go collect wood, bricks, metal, honey, salt, tools. Do we have any tools? Probably do. Uh, no, we don't. Fuck. <laughs> oh, he does need pitch. Look, just, yeah, take it. I'll take a loss on the pitch. I don't care. Improve my reputation, damn it. Just improve my reputation. I don't care about making money. There. We're up to 19. We have to get to 25. Shit. So let's go find some furs, clothes, fish, beer, cloth. I mean, there's lots of stuff we could do. Fur, clothes, beer, fish, or pitch cloth. They don't need cheese. Oh, shit. oh, here we go. Wood. Nice. Wood. Bricks. There we go. They need this shit. Uh, let's take that. Let's take that over. Go sell it quickly. Let's go up here actually. Cause I know they need more stuff. I'm sure Oslo has something. What do you got, Oslo? Got some more. Good. We got nothing now. Oh, we got some fish, but it's very expensive. Eh, get some. Alright, let's go drop that off. Oh, we finished a new ship. Alright. I'll check it out in a bit. Uh, actually, no, let's check it out right now. Fuck it. Uh, new ship. Oh, the convoy. We're gonna call it the, um... Stock... Uh... Viz... Thorn. Okay. Set up a trade route from uh, Stockholm to Visby to Thorn. Trade. Stockholm. We want fish. We want cheese and we want pitch. Okay. So Stockholm produces fish, Visby produces cheese. Thorn produces pitch. Just go ahead and do that trade, baby. Enjoy. Okay. Now let's take a look at Alborg, where we have recently brought our ship back. This ship. Alright, now you need all this stuff. We're at 21. Come on. 22. For fuck's sake. Okay, so we still need more wood. More bricks, metal. Let me just write this down. I don't know. They should make this really easy to, to check on, just on the fly, but they don't. Wood. 
brick. Um, no, no, no. And then metal, honey, salt, tools, mead. What else? Underneath mead. Yeah, they need they need a lot of stuff. Wow. Cloth, beer, fish. They just want everything, don't they? Uh, clothes. They don't want cheese. They don't want pitch. No, no. Fur. No meat. No wine. Oh wow, they have cheap wine. Uh, and then spices. You can buy your wine. Wow, look at that cheap wine, man. Super cheap wine. Alright, so let's go find some of the stuff that they need. Let's go... Let's go to Rostock. What do we got? You don't have any wood. Let's see, what do we need? We need they need honey, yes. Yes, they do. Buy honey. They need tools as well. Buy some tools. Uh, do you need beer? Honey, salt, tools, mead, cloth. Yeah, they do need beer. Okay. Wow. Let's buy a lot of beer, baby. All right. Oh, yeah. Sell some wine. Next. All right, they don't need that, don't need that. They do need honey, so let's just keep getting more and more honey. More and more tools. Uh, do they need pitch? No, they don't need pitch. Damn it. But we can sell some more wine. Next. So this is this is going to be the most difficult part, I think, is just getting reputation up, you know, across all the different towns that you want to produce stuff, right? Clothes? Do they need clothes? Yeah, they do. Nice, lots of clothes here. Wow, thirty-one thousand of clothes. Oh my goodness, thirty-three thousand of clothes. We just spent thirty-three thousand on clothes. Holy crap! We're almost full. Our ship is almost full. We are now full. Ah, okay, go. God, the only thing that sucks is we're going to have to pay that stupid mooring fee. And I think it's based on the value of the goods in your hold at the time. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Yeah, 500 gold. Wow. Oh, it's based on the size. Okay, so if you have 500 items, then they charge you 500 gold. Okay, fair enough. All right, here you go. Have all your wood. All right, 23. 24. I see you are helping me develop my city. Now we're talking. Keep up the good work. Oh, I am keeping it up, baby. Uh, I won't. I won't. I won't take that much of a hit on the price. Sorry. Okay. Interesting. I bought the wine here and I sold it back to the same city. <laughs> okay, uh, Gil. Let's go ahead and get that. Nice. New member, the Honorable Merchant Dick Longwood, is warmly welcomed into the Guild of Alborg. You may now build a counting house in Alborg and acquire different additional privileges. Okay, so we have to get up to 50% before we can build meat, uh, meat factory or whatever. And we need 40% before we can do, just produce any goods. Okay. What was our mission? Build another counting house. Okay, counting house. Let's build one. Where's the architect? Bingo. Give me a counting house. Counting house. Yes. Oh, I can't do it. Why not? Oh, that's a warehouse. House. Oh, there's the counting house. I thought that was a regular house. I'm an idiot. Okay, counting house. Go. Don't even think of building any more buildings here. There is only so much I am willing to tolerate. Oh. Hey, welcome to Alborg. The build the building will be built close to the marketplace. Blah, 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 blah. Well, now you have another counting house. Hire an administrator here as well. 
and then start establishing new businesses to get goods more cheaply. Unfortunately, there is something else you will have to take care of first. As you know, Aalborg is part of Denmark and the Danish king is envious of the Hanseatic League's economic success and the associated power. This has led to quarrels between the king and the Hanseatic League. Now, the king has taken a pirate convoy into his service to block the entrance to the city of Rostock. The Hanseatic Council agrees that you are to deal with this problem. Why do I have to deal with this problem? What a joke. Arm a convoy and attack the pirate who will soon blockade the entrance to the harbor of Rostock. You can have individual ships which are not part of a convoy armed with cannons in the shipyard. Each ship may be upgraded twice. Upgrading a ship requires its cargo, reduces its cargo capacity. Still, you should always have a number of armed ships in your fleet so that you can react to threats. Interesting. Okay, so our counting house is being built. We're going to have to wait for that to finish. We should go ahead and do the, um, yeah. Now we can do production buildings, but we still can't do our meat factory yet. Stettin is under siege. Wow, what is this crap? Why is Stettin under siege? And why is the battering ram, like, sneaking? <laughs> I've never seen a battering ram sneak. I thought they would batter. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I don't need to understand. Uh, let's go ahead and order a new ship. We'll use a new ship. Uh, to do our war. Let's see, what do we have? Speed, draft, cost per day, stability. There's a cog. What's this? Draft. What does draft mean? I have no idea. Crayer, cog. Speed. Wow, cogs are expensive. 57,000. And we, I mean, this is the ship you start with. 57,000. Wow. Let's build a cheap little uh, sne Snaika to do some of our fighting. That's such a tiny little ship. Finish uh, January 4th. All right. Snaika. Snaika. All right, let's go back to trading in Alborg. Alborg. So, uh, do we actually want to trade here or what? Oh shit! Uh, click on that. Okay. Is there anything we want to buy here? Meat. Meat is a very good price here. Three forty-five. We want to produce it here ourselves eventually. Some grain, yeah, wow, nice and cheap. Some hemp. Get everyone nice and hemped up. I love getting hemped up, don't you? Everybody loves getting hemped up. All right, let's head out. Go to Malmo. So Rostock is here. That's what's going to be sieged up eventually. Wow, they have a ton of wool just chilling there. Holy crap, that's a lot of wool. Oh, we're full of we're full of goods. All right, well, sell some goods. Sell some more goods. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Move on. Oh shit, Steden is on. yeah. The prince sieges the town. I don't know what that does. It's doing something. Here, go ahead and sell the uh, wool over here. They want it. We have a ton of it. You better buy it all, Visby. Come on now. Now you bought most. You bought some of it. It's a good start. You'll buy my beer, though. Oh yeah, lots of beer. Buy my beer. You'll buy my cloth. Uh, cheese we can buy here. There you go. And meat we can sell here. Uh, sell it for five hundred. There you go. Next. Sell some more cloth, okay. Mm, 
Mm -hmm. Ah, metal. Metal. Stockholm's on metal. That mooring fee is getting very annoying. Especially since we have that mission to to keep that stupid trade there, the uh, automatic trader. So we're just automatically getting charged that mooring fee every time he goes there. It adds up, it really does. I don't have any hemp for you. Sorry, Novgorod. Counting house in Alborg finished. So what was our mission then? Arm a convoy and attack the pirate. All right, we have to make it a convoy, I guess. Bergen is under siege. Holy crap, really? The pirate sieges, or the prince sieges the town. Wow. Uh, okay, so we just can't use Bergen for a while. That sucks. All right, Novgorod, what's up? What's up? Hey, you want to sell me some wood? You want to sell me some brick? He's like, hell yeah, you can have some brick, dog. How about I sell you some of this wonderful wool? Wonder wool. Wonder wool. And some metal. Not bad, you sell metal. And some beer and some clothes. Some cheese. Oh, yeah. Buy some fur. Nice and cheap. And head over to Riga. Who also wants cloth? Or, what is that? Wool. Those automatic routes are making us some good money. <laughs> uh, you are under attack. Your starter boat is under attack from Convoy Pirate in Alborg. We are? Three warships. Escape attempt. Escape attempt failed. The enemy has plundered the following goods from your ship. He took a bunch of meat, which was probably worth a lot of money. I didn't see any... Oh, was that that black? That must be that black sail. I didn't see it. Why did it say Alborg? That's not Alborg, that's Riga. I don't know. You got me there, game. But that's Riga. You know how I know it's Riga? Because I do. I just know. That's like a police officer saying he, he knows you're going over the speed limit, man. You can't prove it. Those speed guns are liars, man. You can't prove nothing, man. They got nothing on you. Fight it. Fight the system, man. All you got to lose is pride. You lost that a long time ago, man. Alright. Get out of there while that pirate is, is busy inside the city. Fucking pirate. Alright, let's go sell our honey in Stockholm. For some reason, Stockholm produces weed, uh, or hemp, but they're always out of it. Like, they always are willing to buy hemp, because, I don't know, their production is just... I don't know. It's messed up somehow. Okay, uh, let's head back to Lubeck for now. Oh, the harbor fees are gone from Alborg. Oh, actually, let's go sell this, sell this honey and mama while they still want it. I've brought honey! Oh yeah, they're paying top dollar for that shit. They're like, fuck yeah, honey! Wiggle that ass, B! Wiggle that ass! Give me the honey! Something like that. Don't quote me on it, though. I might be off my rocker. Actually, no, go here first. Sell that wood. I saw that pirate ship outside Rostock. I saw that. <laughs> Sneaking a peek. He's like, oh, is the player coming yet? Oh, I, nope, he's not. I better dock up before the player sees me. He, 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 I'm so sneaky. Something like that. Ooh, 
Ooh, lots of salt. Nice. And weed? Oh man, we're just made of weed over here. Actually, let's head up to uh, Oslo with that salt first. They'll buy some of it. Hopefully they'll have lots of fish for us. He bought all my salt. Wow, lovely. And all my weed? And tons of food? Oh yeah, look at you just buying everything, Oslo. You're the best. You're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. Because you're the best. La la la. Made by someone named Estrada or something. No, that was the guy from Chips. Whatever. All right, let's head to Albert. Everyone wants spices. I ain't got no spices right now, bro. Calm your tits. Ain't got no spices to sell. Sorry. We'll find some spices eventually, dude. In Torun? Yeah. For now, though, just buy what I got. Buy everything I have. That is your job today, to buy my crap. Ooh, yes, meat, of course. Delicious meat. Is that ship not done yet? Oh, no, it's not time yet. When will it fin oh, look at the snow! Ah, it's December. Oh, it's January. It's winter time. Look at the snow. Yay. All right, 16th of January. Dick Longwood is going to get us Naika. Hopefully that'll be enough to fight off the pirates, but we might actually need more than one ship uh, to fight the pirates. I have no idea. Because when they attacked us, they had three warships. And I thought we'd just have to build one. And I built the smallest one, because, you know, smallest one. Why not? Uh, but, yeah, that might have been a dumb idea of mine. I might want to go ahead and just get one of these suckers. Make it a warship. Sail it around together with a Snyka. Or we could get another Snyka. I'm thinking of building like two or three more Snyka's or just like one cog. I don't know what would be more useful though. I mean the Snyka's, I'm sure they're easier to kill, but you know, if you have a few of them, it's like swarming them with bees. Ah. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? Nobody knows the derp I've seen. Nobody knows my derp. Mmm, salt. So delicious. Everybody wants my salt. Everybody be like, oh, hell yeah, that, that Lubeck salt. It's all about that Lubeck salt. Let's head over to uh, Edinburgh. So our counting house is done. Hooray. Uh, for the guild, we're going to need, yeah, 50% happiness. We're going to have to keep trading here until we get more happiness. But in the meantime, we can start doing some buildings, right? We can do, what do we need for meat? Requires salt for preservation. Oh, well, we can't do anything here, can we? Hmm. Sheep farm. I guess we'll have to wait until we hit that 50% mark. Darn it. I can train your captains, but first a convoy but first a convoy at anchor in the city must be selected. Oh. That might be nice. Zoom Kranhenist. Oh he's gone. Fuck. Oh, select a convoy before hiring or firing sailors. Oh. 
Where's my Snika? Oh, it finishes in a week. Ah. You know what? I think we're going to call it here. I'm going to get a save here. I'm going to call it First Try Dick Longwood. And uh, why don't we head out? Thank you guys for joining me with this. This is my first uh, look at Patrician 4. Uh, I'm still not really sure what this game is all about. I mean, they're just starting to add the combat system. I haven't checked it out yet. But as soon as we build that Snika, we'll go watch it get blown up by the pirates. <laughs> anyway, 